Um, hello, uh, Mr. Salmon. I mean, uh, Salomon. Uh, your essay here, or your report, it's task one, is the last remaining unchecked item in the waiting feedback report. So, uh, uh, category. This is reposts that have been tagged with the tagline waiting feedback, which I prefer because I know when they come in. And this is the last one. This is it. And so, even though I should probably be in bed right now, I'm very tired, it's 2.30 in the morning, <laughs> I'm going to do this one because I know it very well. And uh, let me say from the start that you did a pretty good job. It's a, you know, it's a solid, somewhere between six and seven um, report. Uh, but you, you could do more and you make some very basic mistakes that hopefully this feedback will prevent you from doing in the future. So um, before we look at your essay, let us look at the graph itself. And let me tell you what my eyes see when I look at this graph. Okay. First of all, uh, I would say that the if you look at the, again, it's total minutes, the amount of time spent on the phone. And sometimes it helps to do a little bit of simple math. And about 75, about 35. So you add those two together, you get 110 next to nothing. So like 112, maybe 112. Let me go here. Look at this side. All right. And we got 45, uh, 60, 105, and 70, 175. So yes, you've got ups and downs. But you want to look at the the totals, the total number of minutes. That'd be the first thing I'd say is that, you know, during this time period, British people spent more time on the phone. As you combine all three, that's what you see, and then you have steady or a steady and then steep increase, steady increase, and up and down. All right, we're going to want to, we're, we're, we may or may not want to address all three. Actually, you probably should. All right, so what do we got? Hi, everyone. Kindly evaluate my task writing one. Oh. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Kindly evaluate my writing task one. Boom, 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 boom. Well, guess I will. Let me explain how I do it. That doesn't rhyme. We have a uh, task achievement. Note. In task one, it's called task achievement because the name of the game, what you must do, is follow instructions. Achieve what they're telling you to do. As opposed to task response in task two, which is about how you answer the question. C and C, uh, lexical and grammar are the same as task two. Our question. The chart below shows the total number of minutes. The number of minutes, not the number of calls in billions. Oh, the telephone call calls should be an S in there. Uh, question rot in the UK. By the three categories. Blah, blah. This is an official question. I've seen it dozens of times. You can compare your answer to three or four other videos in my vault. Which, um, now, you'll note this part here. I have highlighted because it's very important that everyone pays attention to the four verbs that you find in the end of the instruction. Summarize means take the same amount, take the information and make it shorter. Compact. Select the most important information. Report and make comparisons. It's usually here make comparisons, and then selecting the main features where students have problems. Um, reporting, not a problem. They just start listing things. Summarizing, yeah, you know, sometimes. Okay. Now, you say the bar graph illustrates the number of calls. Well, it does not illustrate the number of calls. So right in the first line, we have a task achievement. Because it's not the number of calls. It's right here. It's in the, it's the number of minutes. Very different things. Now, this has sort of become a standard where 
people use the definitive article, the, uh, to indicate what they're talking about because we've already seen it, right? The instructions talked about the chart below. Well, it's not below, it's not above. You should write as if the person reading your report can't see the chart. Uh, but, of course, they can. So, let me make a, a suggestion. I've made this several times, and no, one, no one's yet given me a really good reason not to do this. Look at this uh, opening. There is a bar graph which illustrates. Okay. Now, if you look down at the rest of your sentences, do, 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 do. no, I don't see one anywhere. No. <clears throat> this, is, this is called, you know, this is a complex sentence because... It has a main clause, and it has a uh, dependent clause. Right? There is a bar graph. That's the whole sentence, and that sentence makes sense. Which illustrates, okay, so now it's telling us what. This is a complex sentence, and your grammar is rated upon the number of complex sentences that you use accurately. And this type, this kind of question, this kind of sentence is not used anywhere else in the essay. The only objections I've had to this has been, well, they have time to do that type of uh, sentence later. Well, yeah, they do, but what if you forget? Just get it out of the way. Use your relative pronoun, which illustrates the number of calls. No, it does not. Call in minutes for landlines and mobile phones in the United Kingdom over a seven-year period from 1995 to, 19 to 2002. <clears throat> Everyone does this. They, it's so common. Um, how many years is it? Shall we count them? One, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, and an eight. It is not a seven-year period. It is an eight-year period because 1995 is included, and that would be the number zero in this chart. So, boom, boom. Two big mistakes in the first paragraph that could cost you. It is clear that. Oh, okay, so we have an overview. Now, I don't know about this. It is clear. Is it really clear? That the total duration of all calls. Oh, yes, okay, good. Made Oh, made through local landline. Landline? Just one? Lines. Very slightly. Okay. Number of calls made through landlines. Oh, local landlines. So you must be talking about this one. Varies slightly. Nope, it does not vary slightly. If it varied slightly, it would just kind of stay in the same range. But no, it goes up by 20% and falls by almost the same. So that's not accurate. If you just compare the beginning and the end, they're not very different. But... It's not just a straight line across. But stays atop. No, I, I don't recommend that you use any uh, descriptions having to do with space. Atop. And that's what this means. You know, it's, it's above. Eh, no, it's not atop. I mean, it, 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 instead of stays atop, it remains the main form of communication. Modes of communication. Eh, I don't know. These are all telephones, right? Telephones. A telephone is a mode of communication. These calls are made locally. So, you know, to people in the neighborhood. These calls are made nationally or internationally, but on the same phones. Okay? Not different phones. You don't have two phones in your house. I mean, back then you didn't. You didn't have one phone for calling... America, and another phone for calling down the street. It's the same phones. And so this mode of communication thing, I, I don't like it. It's not, it's too broad. You know, it uh, stays atop uh, all other telephone usages, or telephone communications even. While, okay, all right, complex sentence, good. While, the accumulated minutes through the use of cell phones. No, no, I don't. The reason it's blue is because it slows you down. It's not very um, coherent. 
the accumulated minutes through the use of telephone sees a rapid increase between 1999 and 2002. Well, what you want to you know it's great that you're using while to make a complex sentence but uh to achieve a really good grammar score your two halves you know between between the two parts here before and after the while need to have a similar structure okay they need to have similar um you know, uh, uh uh and you don't you don't so you Right, so we have varies present tense sees hmm I don't know however one thing I will say I didn't actually didn't do it in this paragraph I did it in all the rest when is this happening okay. graphs like these they give you years and it's very important that you pay attention to those years because that'll tell you what tense to use You see the problem, 1999, 2002, it's a time period, it's in the past, it's finished. So finished actions in the past use what? Not the present simple. Come on, we learned that very early in our education in English. So all throughout the entire essay, you use the present tense, and everything happens in the past. So you know, every single one's a grammar error. Okay, in 1995, the combined minutes of calls. Okay, made through local landlines, there's more than one, is about, is, was about 72 billion. Sure. This mode of, you know, see now, you, you used it once, and it was questionable, but when you use it a second time, now you're taking something questionable and repeating it, which is not showing a good, it's like you memorized that or something, saw a gradual rise until 1999. Okay, is that accurate? 72 to 90. That's an increase of about 20% over, over a five-year period. I wouldn't call it gradual. Gradual is slower than that. And again, there's no specific numbers that you have to reach to use these words. So I guess, I guess gradual is okay, but steady would be a better, um, you know, or, you know, saw an increase of 20%, be even better. When? It peaked. I underline peaked because, well, you used the wrong form, <laughs> but it, it would be very good if you're your Lexus because peaked is a good description of exactly what that, what that looks like. It's a mountain peak at 90 billion minutes. From then onwards, whenever you start a sentence with a phrase that indicates a time, yesterday, for the last several centuries, this morning, Un since the dawn of time, nowadays. These are all examples of fr uh, phrases that are used to express time or location. You, you do, the same rule applies. After that clause, you need what? A comma. Okay, from then onwards, it continues to decline. See, now, this is definitely the wrong word. That should be yellow. It, con it did not continue to decline. For something to continue, it would need to start doing that. You see what I'm saying? To continue something is to repeat the same thing. It continued to rise. Yes, that's correct, but it didn't. It then did something different. You could say, you know, uh, at 90, you know, 1999, but you don't want to put any numbers in your overview. Well, we're out of the overview. But it doesn't continue to decline because it wasn't declining before that at a steady pace all right good that's good grammar and that's good until 2002 until the end of the period all right now uh, huh where did you get total duration i think i read that somewhere before it's good 
but I, I made it yellow because I thought I saw it someplace up here. Anyway, fine. Total duration of calls. Hey, plural. Good. Made. Ah, perhaps past tense. So something in here was telling you to use past tense through cell phones, and then you went to present. Started. Starts off at. Uh, okay. And saw almost a constant rise. Really? 1995? 1995? To 1999. Well, it looks like a, looks like a, um, that looks constant to me. It's not almost a constant. It is a constant. So almost is wrong. 1999. Now this is, um, really with a year, you use, not where. I mean, it's okay to use where, but it's just not as good as using what you should be using, which is, when it touched, past tense, approximately 13 billion. Yeah, sure. Okay, good. The year 2000. Why, why the year? We know it's 2000. 2000, and, and again, a year cannot indicate something. One thing that you're missing in this essay that is very common... In task one, a lot of task ones give you the opportunity to use passive voice. Lots of students use too much of it. You have used none at all anywhere. You always want to get that in there somewhere, and this is the perfect sentence to do it, okay? Because a year doesn't indicate something. You, know? um, you want to take the object. Huh? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so the object is what? Minutes. What kind of minutes? Cell phone. Okay, so what do we call those kinds of minutes on the cell phone? Uh, um, mobile. Uh, you know, the, the, the total mobile minutes. <laughs> uh, uh, well, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, was indicated. No, no, no. Anyway, um, where's another good place to put the sa put the passive? No, a lot of no. Anyway, um, a year can't indicate something. Uh, there was a sharp drop, a sharp jump in uh, the year two thousand, and we don't need the year. Which is double. Good. This is exactly the kind of comparison that you should be making. And up here in the instructions, it says you must make comparisons. A lot of students forget to do that. You did a good job here. Double. Double than the preceding year. No, no, no. Double that of the preceding year. You know, you know, it's a sharp jump. Great. Okay. This rising trend. Hmm. Uh, yeah, okay. Continued for the next two years as well. However, at a slower pace. Uh, that's a bit inaccurate. Reaching up to, reaching up, reaching, uh, reaching, just reaching, reaching 46 billion. You don't need the up to. And technically, I guess you're correct, but all right, what was it in uh, 2000? It was approximately 23. Maybe 24? What did you say it was? Maybe, oh, oh, to 25, okay? So you say it's 25. What happens the next year? It goes to 40. 25 to 40. It went from 13 to 25. So that's 12, 49 to 14. Eh, it's only slowed down a little tiny bit. The total number of minutes increased dramatically. Let's look. 50, well, that's a different unit. So 50 to 25. Huh. Yeah. Well, you don't want to say something doubled and then doubled again. Actually, you could. Yeah. No, no. Um, you know, the, the growth of cell phones uh, can be seen with the doubling of the number of minutes used. Double. To double means to, in to increase two times. I saw you dance, and uh, anyway, uh, this rising, uh, but so it's not a slower pace. 
reaching up to 46 billion minutes, we know it's minutes, in 2002. Okay, um, I think your husband is asleep or something, but here is what I would suggest for getting rid of some of these billions. Billion, 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 billion. In fact, let's count. I'm going to guess billion is used eight times. And in 150 words, that's too much. Eight times for indication of the, me of the measure. So I'm going to go to a website called, cut this out later, Here we are. I have an account. I don't want a Firefox account. Uh -huh. There's Robert Johnson. And okay, so we want uh, 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 uh. word count. Wordcounter.net. I put this in here earlier today. I'm going to bet again, you're going to be surprised. Okay. 185 words, good quantity. However, of those 185 words, six of them were the word minutes. Another six were the word billion. So that's 12 out of 185. That's like 15% of the whole thing. Um, so, I did count all of it, didn't I? Oh, okay. No, it's not us anyway. So, uh, you need to work on that. Words, 185, paragraphs 4. Good. You know, I like to get a little bit deeper and... Yeah. Here. Nah, that's, that's okay. We're not doing talking anyway. Right. So, you have some good instincts. There's a lot of good things to say about this essay, but a lot of mistakes that are easily fixable. Pay attention to the years. This one, you know, it's all in the past. But since certain events happened before other events, you know, you could say, like, really could, interesting grammar, like the past perfect. Have you studied this? I know you have come um, past perfect by the year 2002. Something happened by the year which means it actually happened before it, and by is just being used as a marker of, okay, you know, um, between, sometime between now and this point here, it happened along the way, somewhere. All right, I think that's good enough. I'm going to bed.